Welcome to Users and Groups Creation. Once you're logged into your summit, we're going to invite some users into your organization. On the right hand side, you're going to go to the plus mark. And here you will put in the email for the person that you are wanting to invite into your organization. Now with any given user that you're going to invite, you have a variety of levels of responsibility slash privileges that you are going to be able to grant them. Uh, here you can see owner, admin, manager, we've got technician, specialist, standard is the default, that's why it's highlighted in gray, and all the way down to limited. These just range from different privileges that they're going to be able to have within your organization. Uh, in this case, they're user that we are going to invite. We are going to give them admin privileges, which means they can basically do everything an owner can, just they are unable to add other owners into the group. Click add, and then we'll send the invite to the user. Now, if you are on the receiving end of an invite, you are going to receive an email indicating that a user from any given organization has granted you access or invited you into their organization. From here, you'll be directed to a link to accept the end user license agreement. If you do not already have an account, you will have to register first name, last name, password, and the time zone that you're in. And because I already do have an account, I am just going to go back to the invite. I'm going to put in my email and password for that user. And once I put in all that information, I am going to be in the organization. I'll be able to have all the access that I was given because I was put in as an admin. And we can go through and verify that here in just a moment when we go to users. And right there, John Doe, he is an admin. As being an admin, I can now invite another user into the organization. All right, for this user, I'm going to be giving him a limited role, which means they are only going to be, be able to view devices that I have given them access to. Something important to note, you'll notice that the owner is grayed out. That is because I'm only an admin as part of this account. So again, with limited, he I'm only going to be able to give access to groups and devices within that group as opposed to the entire organization. Very crucial for if you're wanting to invite a user from outside of your organization, but they manage some of your devices. So again, I went to that email. I already created the account, logging in, and I am not granted access to any devices or groups. Creating groups is a good way to better manage your organization by creating individual groups that will pertain to how you run your business or think of it like a smart search. Like instead of having to find all of your 4G devices within the device screen, you're able to create a group for just those or you can do them based off of location, however it may be. So here I am just inviting the MC Hammer into my organization paste of the devices I want him to have access to. And again, just, just keep in mind, I did the paste function. You are still able to use the search. There you can see he's been invited in as a viewer only. Hit create. Now I have a new test group. There are the six devices that I want MC Hammer to have availability for. And there he is, part of the users group. I can then log into his account. And you'll notice when we log in, he only has access to the six devices. Now, you'll, if you remember, within the Looney Tunes, we actually had two groups at the start. We'll get into that in a second. So here we have two groups, the test group and this Arizona group. But MC Hammer was only part of the one group. Oh, and what I'm showing you here is that because I have the admin on this account, I do have the reset wireless and other functions to be able to edit, whereas on the viewer only, I could only view the devices. So again, here we can see that MC Hammer is not part of this group. If I did want to add him, however, I could do so following those procedures right there. 
clicking add user and adding him into the organization. And what this means is when we log into his account, he'll then have access to the two groups as a viewer only, again, meaning that he will not be able to make any device changes, perform any device actions. He is clearly a viewer for this group. And by being a viewer only, you are granting other individuals to come into your organization that may not be directly a part of your company, therefore granting you the tools and resources to better manage your portfolio. You can give this to subcontractors, to technicians that work with you, but are not directly an employee of yours. And creating groups is a better way to make the chunks of your business a little bit smaller and just have a quicker search function as opposed to going into the device page to have to filter and sort. So that is users and creating groups. Hope this helped you uh, to better manage your portfolio. If you have any questions, please give us a call 877-678-3343. Thank you.